Hi, my name is Imran from imstech.co.uk and today I'm going to show you guys how to start using Dreamweaver and the first thing that needs to be done is you need to manage your site so I'm going to show you guys how to manage a site now the version of Dreamweaver I'm using is CS5 and it's the latest well it is the latest at this particular moment in time anyway and the to start off the site and manage a site for different versions whether it's CS4, CS3 or previous version is almost the same or possibly even identical now on the right side of the page you can see it says manage site so I'm going to click on manage site I'm going to press new now I'm going to this is where you give the site a name so I'm just going to call it my site now ideally obviously you'd want to call it something relevant to what you're going to create the site on so if it was something to do with uh, football then you'd say my football site or whatever um, looking on the left right here it says sites, it says server, it says versions, version control, advanced settings now I'm just going to show you guys how to manage the site locally maybe sort of because this is a beginner tutorial maybe for more advanced you can look at servers and version control and you can look into that yourselves now the second thing after the name it says local site folder so this is the folder where the site files will be stored now I'm just going to save them on my desktop so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sh to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder which is this button right here create a new folder and I'm just going to call it my site go within there and I'm going to create another folder which is called images I'm just going to call it IMG for short select sorry right so it selected the my site folder I'm going to press save so now I've got a my site folder I'm going to press done now you can see I've got like a tree view of my site which is on the desktop and the images folder now if I open up the images there's obviously no images within there but my sites now the first thing that needs to be done is a folder a file needs to be created so I'm going to right click and press new file and this is going to be a HTML document and I'm going to call this index I N index right now some of you might be wondering why I've called the index HTML now traditionally the home page is known as the index page and the way the web servers work is by default if a person does not specifically say exactly where they want to go to go on a website so rather than typing in www.bbc.co.uk forward slash index.html if somebody just writes bbc.co.uk and presses enter it'll, it by default would go to the index page so I've created the index page what I can do is I can also create a new folder by pressing new folder I can create new files so I can create say the about us page so I'm just going to press about now if I go into the index page it's blank because if you see on the top it says code split and design the code view this is the HTML the split view is a split between the design and the HTML view and the design view is just how it would look on a website so I'm just going to type in hello world and I'm going to press F12 which is going to load this page up in a browser press F12 save the file yep it's opened up Internet Explorer and it's got hello world in the top left nothing fancy it's just a basic web page um, yeah so that's basically how to sort of get started get creating web pages HTML pages creating folders and also what we can do is if I drop press the drop down there and press manage site I can actually edit the site so I can go back and create give it a different name I'm gonna cancel that I can duplicate the site I can remove the site completely I can export the site say if I've finished with the site and I want to sort of export it and place it on the web server and I can also import a site so if I've got a site that I've created in a different machine different folder structure with all the HTML pages within there I can also import the site so that's just a basic start on how to just make an initial start and start Spanish site so this has been Imran from imstech.co.uk and I hope you enjoyed the first lesson